We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to the many watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you'll appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with BBIG Stock, Vinco Ventures Inc. Having an explosive move here within the second half of the day, right? Almost towards the end of the day. And we're going to break down why it ran up. But it wasn't the only stock going higher. The overall market and the SPY did as well. And our SPY bot since 8.15 a.m. sent us out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward into the bell and after the bell, things continue to run up. And call options went up 500% plus within hours. And this is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. And you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to our spy bot, our QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets in either direction. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize on opportunities by receiving the clarity and edge over the charts. So here we are with BBIG stock. We're going to talk about supports and resistance. It created a huge support down here and broke out, but resistance has been holding this back. Now, before we break it all down, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. It cannot be overlooked. It was spectacular and way far beyond expectations for a Friday. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Now, this is the one stock I was watching this morning. It was AVDL. And we caught this one in the pre-market under a bull indicator and consolidating after it started pushing up. And towards the bell, it jumped up nearly 10 to 20% plus, pulled back down and took off to a highest point of 90% plus guys within an hour. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with BBIG stock. And as I stated in the last several videos, the white were Fred borders is extreme weakness based off 42 vision. And every single time we would hit it, we're in this area where it's called the dip area based off 42 vision. And that I was looking for a possible bull indicator to pop up and also for resistance levels to be broken through and this to shift from white with red borders back to red with green borders or even dark green and green signifying possible strength. Now, by the time you see this video, you may already know why this jumped up, or if not, you may learn something new on why this is happening. And I'm going to share with you guys in today's video, how important it is to have an edge over the charts and being able to see these things. Even if you don't know the news, the charts show you what is going on based off the behavior of other investors. These chart movements, whether they're manipulated or not, they are chart movements that are happening because of human behavior. At the end of the day, there's always human behavior behind it and news is important, but without even knowing news and knowing charts, I believe it goes the extra mile. Now you're going to see two comments pop up and I get comments like these all the time. And I also get great comments as well, which I appreciate everyone's support and everyone that actually enjoys these videos and finds value in my opinions, in my perspective. Because at the end of the day, it is not financial advice. It is just what I see and what I believe. And I could be completely wrong, right? But as you see here popping up, one of them is talking about how this was a subpar analysis that I don't talk about short interest. I don't talk about how many are in the count of float and so forth. And I understand, but that is something you can find in so many different resources, so many different channels that me talking about it is just repeating what others are saying. I'm here to talk about what I enjoy and I do it out of gratitude as I stated and it's charts guys. I enjoy charts and I share with you guys what 42 vision brings to the charts and how 42 vision can give an edge to investors. That is a choice that each investor makes if they want to go ahead and join and be part of the community, right? A learning and growing community of investors. 
And then I get another comment like this one, and I've gotten these before, and I always address them in the fact that why do I have to state, you know, about the bots, the morning briefings, and the indicators? Well, those are the three different things we offer, right? We got the bots that send out notifications. Every single day is a new actual day and notification and opportunity. Every single day, there's a new morning briefing. That's another thing that's offered. And then on top of that, the indicators that you see here on the screen, that's how you see the value of these videos actually pop up in front of you. That's where the value is at. That's where the clarity is at. That's where the content of these videos is being made and you can receive this live as well, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into this, but I do wanna address that and I do wanna point that out. I am always gonna focus on charts and today I'm gonna go ahead and make that clear to show you guys as bright as day how charts can show you something even if you don't know the news and what's going on and especially how 42 vision brings that clarity as well. So I'm gonna pull it up, the ultimate 42 vision, the bull and bear indicators, which you can gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to the spy bot, our QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets and you can join the members using these resources to maximize on either direction. So we got a bear indicator way earlier before all of this news came out, right? And it came out on May 25th at around 285. Consolidated, I stated if it broke through this support of this big consolidation here for a few days of 277, the next area was down here at 269, 270 mark, and then all the way down here to 256. It broke through all three of them, hit lows here of 235. And then the next day, we actually did a chart analysis yesterday. And if this broke through 235, we may see a little bit lower levels, but then I would watch between 235 and 220. And here it was, it hit lows here of 229, found consolidation, hit dip area like I circled earlier in the video, three times, and in all these three times, it found strength and eventually a bull indicator popped up on the 30 minute. And if I go ahead and put the 15 minute, you could see it there as well. And if I go ahead and put the five minute, you could see it there as well. Within the volatility, a lot of movement, but that was the main one with strength. And you could see that shift from white with red borders on the five minute within the volatility to bright green. That's a full transition right there. And it hit highs of 257. And this is where chart analysis does matter those that do not think it does. And I get those comments all the time. Either they don't understand charts or they don't want others to believe it matters and they don't want them to find out how much it matters. Because that's where the empowerment as an investor is, understanding charts. And I stated in both my videos, the first day things fell on the urgent message of the Tide spinoff being pushed back. And yesterday is, I'm gonna be looking for a dead cap bounce or momentum that brings this back up towards 250s to 260s, and we definitely wanna see this break above 260. If it can't, it's not gonna have enough strength, and we need to watch it carefully. Well, it reached 257, rejected back down to 242 recently, and here it is fighting with this bull indicator to bring itself back up. Now, this is all on the 30 minute, and this is without news, okay? And a bull indicator has popped up, it cancels out this bear indicator. So super important to realize where we stand and how this could be bullish not just today but going into next week and the next following couple of days but it's going to take much more than this to actually push this up it's going to need to break through resistance levels i'm going to be watching live in the action how bbig reacts within 42 vision and the charts but this is the reason why it actually went up today right a scheduled 13g now this is a public record of someone buying a huge portion or a pretty substantial amount of bbig and that's why it's running and this is the person or entity that bought it right five narrow lane lp and they bought 22 million shares of common stock guys 22 million times two dollars right let's just say an average of two dollars we're just going to round down is 44 million dollars going into bbig in that filing guys and where did they buy in the dip area where did they buy on the four hour in the dip area right where did they buy on the one day in the dip area now does this guarantee that things are going to go back up and that it's going to start running no 
Why could it be bullish though? Because it's actually going to bring attention to the shorts that need to cover, guys. Because the higher this goes, the more shorts are going to start getting trapped because believe it or not, I'm sure there's shorts that started positions down here. And if this breaks out above those levels and goes higher, there's going to be shorts starting to cover here and then it starts to squeeze and then it pushes higher and then it starts to squeeze and it pushes higher and more shorts and more shorts continue to get trapped. Now, $3 is going to be the first level I think is super important here beyond what we see so far and then $4 as well based off of what I've broken down in my previous videos and what the average cost is of many holders of BBIG, whether it's institutional or individual investors. But let's go ahead and break down here some of the key levels and what the charts are showing in the bigger time frame. So the four hour has switched from a red bar to red with green borders, but we're still under a bear indicator. But I want to see these transitions continue here on the four hour into dark green or a continuation of red with green borders to the upside, right? That's one thing going on on the four hour and the one day I'm going to be watching this because it could start to reverse, right? It's been under red bars consecutively for two days and what i'm looking for is if it could go into a red bar with green borders or even jump straight to a dark green bar like it did here and start going back up like the last time that it started to reverse now no bull indicator popped up in that transition i'm going to be looking for a bull indicator and in these transitions right so let's go ahead and go over to the 30 minute and here we are the support here is 230 below that would be 220 again and to the upside we need to break above 260 guys right now it's currently sitting at 244 246 give or take we want to see this break above 260 and if that gets broken through the next levels up here at 282 guys this is pretty big news a huge investor bought a huge position and this could start to scare some shorts and could actually start creating a possible squeeze and then on options chains it could also probably create a gamma squeeze but we need to see how this plays out how the overall market continues to move as well if things continue going upwards because if things continue to look bullish eventually more people are going to take risk on positions and bbig squeezing shorts out of their positions plus risk on investors could be a big catalyst coming in the next few days or weeks guys